Trostani Discordant versus Tuvasa the Sunlit. Yeah, we've got a turn two Mentor of the Meek, turn one Elvish Mystic, so I can't think of a reason not to keep that. Going for our Elvish Mystic, and then we can go for Mentor of the Meek, and then maybe Trostani Discordant after that. Our commander gives other creatures we control plus one plus one. She enters with two one one white soldier tokens with lifelink, and at the beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they control. Let's grab ourselves a Savannah here, and then we can go for Mentor of the Meek. We're going to need white mana for that. Mentor of the Meek is whenever another creature with power two or less enters, you can pay one and draw a card. Tuvasa the Sunlit is a bank commander, 1-1. One, one. Gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control. And whenever you cast your first enchantment spell each turn, you draw a card. Okay, yeah, I think we're okay to go for Monastery Mentor here, and we'll be able to draw a card from the Mentor of the Meek, which works out nicely for us. Okay, drawing to a Crater Hoof, which I'm not too happy to see right now, but it's good to clear it off the top so that we can get to looking at some other cards. Probably going for Tristani Discordant next turn. And if we can keep making consistent land drops, then Elspeth Sun's Champion and Elish Norn won't be too far behind. Just going for a Plains there, and now we'll go into our Commander. We'll see if she sticks. We're not going to have any mana to pay for the Mentor of the Meek, unfortunately. It is going to trigger a few times. And then we'll swing in at 6 to our opponent. Yep, they're just going to crack the Cross and Verge. Both of our 2-2s two have been buffed to 3-3s, three thanks to our Commander. And we'll go in 4-6 and then throw it back over to our opponent. Okay, Mesa Enchantress for our opponent, and then they're holding up two mana, so I don't know if that is counter magic or not. How much damage can we do here? If our opponent doesn't block, it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I think maybe just an idyllic tutor first, just to get the prowess going on Monastery Mentor. And then the card that I'm going for, we can't cast this turn, so I will pay for Mentor. Shamanic Revelation is pretty good to get into, and a Mana Drain, I don't mind getting rid of that. I was looking to go for Parallel Lives there, but I don't mind using the 3 mana to get into another creature and make Shamanic Revelation better next turn. So let's just use this opportunity to swing in with everything. Got our opponent down to 9, but they will get 3 mana from the mana drain. Putting them on 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. Maybe 9 if they get into a land. That looks like a board wipe to me. What is the name of that board wipe? The uncounterable one in Azorius. No, they're just going for Sigil of the Empty Throne. That is a very good card in Enchantress builds. Pretty much the only, the only place that this card fits well. So they're going to be able to start getting some angels into play here. I think we're definitely on the Shamanic Revelation plan next turn because I want to get into land so that we can get into things like Elish Norn and Crater Hoof. So the more mana we can get into, the better. Yeah, we've been missing land drops. We're on turn 6 and only have 4 lands. So I think we're definitely on for Shamanic Revelation here. That will buff our prowess creatures. It'll also give us another monk token in Monastery Mentor. Okay, they are exiling Tristani. Don't really mind that because the more we can replay her, the more um, the more tokens we'll get. Four cards left in our opponent's hand now. It doesn't appear as though they have counter magic. Okay, Beastmaster Ascension is switched on next turn, so let's just throw down this tap land. 
and we'll try and go for that next turn. We can go for Beastmaster Ascension, swinging in with everything. Speaking of swinging in with everything, we can do that right now. We might have the win on our opponent now. I haven't actually counted that up. No, I don't think we do. Forcing them to block with their Enchantress. It's not looking good for them. They need a board wipe. But yeah, what I was going to say was Beastmaster Ascension, giving everything plus five, plus five next turn. And Heroic Intervention we could also hold up. Yeah, and our opponent decides to scoop there. They obviously didn't draw into a board wipe that they needed. Uh, even if they had have wiped the board there, we could have gotten down... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we could have gotten down Elspeth. And then we were likely to swing in with those next turn. Uh, yeah, the turn after that, we actually could have gone for Elish Norn. So we were looking pretty set up there, thanks to landing the Shamanic Revelation. Hope you all enjoyed it. That was Tuvasa the Sunlit versus Tristani Discordant. I'm Travel Kai on the EDH channel. I'll see you next time.